that that really takes place everywhere all over the world and um unfortunately it uh it really it wreaks havoc on uh on our sense of self because i think that when we're young we find our sense of self in the way people see us and so if we're being bullied um, it really destroys that, that image that we have. And I think that uh, oftentimes we carry that with us past the experience and we continue to relive uh, that dynamic. And um, really all it is is usually somebody else is feeling insecure about themselves and they're feeling the need to belittle you in order to feed their own ego so that uh, they can feel good in their social setting. Um, I'd say like in terms of how to deal with that, I mean, for, for starters, uh, <clears throat> you know, bullying takes place in the conventional sense of the term. Um, bullying takes place in the conventional sense of the term where, you know, it's like the school fighting and things like that. Um, it also takes place in social circles. Like I've noticed that if you have a group of friends, four or five friends, one or two of those friends might find their roles within that group by putting you down. I know for me, I was at the expense of a lot of jokes in my circle of friends. And I know that they cared about me, uh, but the dynamic was that they liked to put me down in order to feel good about themselves. At the time, I didn't realize that that's why they were doing it, and so I took it personally. Uh, over time, I've developed a sense of uh, self, you know, related to uh, an internal image, um, but that's taken some time. So I'd say that, you know, if you're dealing with something like that or if it feels like uh, if you feel really low or your self-esteem is just shattered and you just don't want to, you know, get up and face the day because of the types of people in your life and how that made you feel, it's important that you recognize uh, that you were created for a reason and that you're unique and special. And I think that... Uh, that you find like your sense of self like, and the strength within that uh, based on your dreams and your own qualities and that you don't let anybody else shake that because really they don't know you um, and they're oftentimes just doing that to feel better about themselves so it's good to know that I know that doesn't really help much uh, you know when you're actually dealing with it but another thing I think that's important to do is to talk to somebody about it I know if you're in a school situation it's important to uh, to talk to the counselor about it and let them know as well because uh, oftentimes this is going to uh, prevent you from being able to get out of, the, out of the school setting which you really need to get out of it, which is like a good social dynamic as well as an academic, you know, backgrounds. Shit, I've made, oh uh, sorry, I've made like every wrong choice there is. I think that like in learning the right ones, I had to make every single wrong choice. Um, I know that at first, uh, you know, I didn't know how to deal with it. I figured you fight fire with fire and if these dudes are going to like, you know, bully me, then I'm just going to like take it to the next level. I mean, and that led to all kinds of things like, uh, you know, getting involved with gangs overseas. And, uh, you know, I did that at a really young age and I did that because it made me feel like I was safe uh, and it made me feel like, um, like I didn't need to worry about them or what they were doing. Uh, you know, it took the fear away. But really all that is is me sinking down to their level. Uh, so that's why it didn't work and also because that carries with you much longer out of the out of the setting in which the bullying takes place it becomes a mentality that you carry with you it's like an ego like a chip on your shoulder and the thing is people that aren't bullies uh, and as you get out of high school and whatnot they don't respond well to that at all uh, I mean if anything it just prevents you from being able to develop good relationships with the people around you so you know that's one way I know that um, you know taking the drugs, selling drugs, all that kind of stuff is another way people compensate when they're getting bullied. Um, you know, anything to make themselves feel powerful in the face of the bully. But I know that all of these things are only going to hurt yourself. And, uh, you know, if you're already being hurt by somebody else, then, I mean, if you, if you make choices to hurt yourself as well, then you're just helping them in their cause. And, I mean, really, that's self-defeating at the end of the day.